friends. Oh, these times, these times, huh? I don't know about you, but I've been reading a lot of post-mortems about the election, how it happened, why it happened. And there's a lot of disagreement about who voted for whom and why and all that. But one thing that comes through every article that I've read is that social media was critical. And that part of why it was critical is that a significant number of people read news that was not grounded in truth and believed it and voted on the basis of what they read. That and the bullying that I saw and the meanness leading up to the election online made me incredibly grateful to be in the countercultural Unitarian Universalist environment that is the Church of the Larger Fellowship. You know, when I came on board in 2010 and we decided to get very involved online, I read a man named Clay Shirky, who said that what would be interesting now that social media was everywhere, was ubiquitous, now we would see a culture emerge about what it meant. And we decided then to throw into the water our oar, to row towards a place where what mattered and what it meant was connection in a way that was kind and compassionate, information in a way that was loving and true. That feels incredibly countercultural now, but we've stuck to that. Kindness, compassion, truth, and love. Those are our values at the Church of the Larger Fellowship as Unitarian Universalists and in all of our online presence. I hope that you see it in our Facebook groups where moderators keep careful watch so that people feel listened to and listen to others. And when we put out information, if it's ever not grounded, we want to be told about that because we never want to be sharing something that isn't true. These are going to be tough times and we are going to need each other more than ever. We're going to need each other's kindness and compassion and love and truth. May the CLF be a place for you where you can find that and you can help to create it for others. We are only as strong as our community. I've been to the Wolf Center up in Ely, Minnesota and bought a t-shirt there that said, the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. My pack, my people, my folks, my friends, my CLF, my sister, brother, kindred, Unitarian Universalists, may we always be connected through kindness and compassion and rooted in truth and in love, the kind of love that is justice when it speaks in public. May we be there. May we carry the flame of love and justice In this time, in this fiscal year end, we're asking people to step up a little more to carry that flame so that we can burn brightly with Unitarian Universalist values in the coming year. Can you do it? Can you help us out a little? If so, you can see the link below to give what you can, five, 10, 20, 100, 1,000, a million, anything you've got. We're grateful for every cent. We squeeze it as hard as we can. We work with it as much as possible. Right now, thanks to a generous donor, Graham Craker, we actually have a match for up to $10,000 this month. So we're very excited about that and hope that you will double your giving by giving now while this is in place. Thank you so much for all that you do, for all of who you are, for the ways that you embody compassion and kindness and truth and love on the internet, in your face-to-face encounters with other people, and everywhere you go. May these things be our legacy as Unitarian Universalists.